Hey guys, I'm Jared. I'm gonna turn 44 this year. So come on this journey with me as I train for my seventh Ironman. So we are about 17, 18, I'm not exactly sure weeks out from Ironman Cozumel. So we're gonna see what kind of uh, preparation I can get done. All right, today's workout on tap is just a simple endurance ride. Nothing spectacular. Probably gonna go for just under two hours out there. It's a nice day, a little bit warm. Gonna be mid 80s. Just uh, get some time on the bike today. I'm gonna follow that up by a 30 minute uh, brick run and see how we feel after. All right, let's get going on the bike. We are climbing up the dam and we're almost there. All right, we are about 12 miles in and uh, about 45 minutes complete. It's feeling good out here. All right, loop on the front of the drove done. Let's head on home. Done. All right, stats for the ride, hour 53 minutes, 30.64 miles. Not bad for a Wednesday's work. And right, up next, we have a short run off the bike, about 30 minutes. Let's get it done. And right, time to get the run done. All right, 30 minutes, pretty easy. Just gonna go around the neighborhood and get it done. Let's go. Run is done 30 minutes in the bank. All right, time to get some protein. All right, on tap for today, we have some low cadence intervals. Moving it inside, gonna do the workout on Zwift today. All right, let's get this workout started. All right. So that interval run was a little bit, uh, let's say, spicy. I'm gonna head out for a quick 30 minute run. Let's go. All right, run is done. Now on to some core strength work and then we can call it a day. All right, I'm gonna make some pizza for dinner. So let's uh, heat up the pizza oven. All right, I'm gonna harvest some uh, fresh herbs from the herb garden. It's been uh, growing pretty good this year. Get some nice basil. And in here hiding, I got some oregano. Some parsley. This dough is looking amazing. All right, nice pizza dough there.
So this weekend, we are going to be doing the Courage Classic, a charity bike ride up in Copper Mountain, going up Lovey Pass, going up uh, Vail Pass. It's gonna be some, some work, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. So just getting a little bike ride in today. Got an easy run after about an hour long, and uh, we'll call it a day. And so the weather's taking a little bit of a change out on the uh, ride today. It's getting a little breezy, so it's gonna add a little bit of extra fun to the ride. And at the turnaround point, gonna head on home. This is your ride. Love it. Currently running up this hill. Not sure why I thought this was a good idea. Check this thing out. The camera does not do it justice. Run done. All right, now it is time to load up the bike and head off to Copper Mountain for our adventure on the Courage Classic tomorrow. All right, here we are at Copper Mountain. It's almost 6 a.m. and we are ready to get started on the Courage Classic. Let's go. Doing good so far. All right, we made it to the top of Tennessee Pass. Wow, this is pretty spectacular. In Minturn for the lunch stop. It's time to get back to it. Just up in Minturn. I-70, as you can hear, is right next to me on our way to Vail Pass. We are on Vail Pass getting up there. What a fun, beautiful ride. Top of Vail Pass, 10,400 feet. What an accomplishment, what a ride. Now down to Copper, and we'll call it a day. We are done. Okay, so day two of the Courage Classic, heading up Loveland Pass. Rain is in the forecast, so let's see if we can beat it. Let's go. We have made it to Arapahoe Basin. Now just to the top of Loveland Pass. We have made it to the summit of Loveland Pass. Now it's all downhill all the way back. 